Well, it's great to see you, man. And congratulations yeah, on completing the music. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate that. It's exciting. I mean, it's such a tasteful sounding record. And appreciate that. How have you adapted to that experience, knowing now that you have Lyme disease? And how has it adjusted your lifestyle and how you move forward? And what changes have you noticed? Uh, I think um, just making sure that I am uh, just doing the right treatments for it, doing the right IVs and all that sort of stuff, taking the necessary precautions necessary to not get any worse, I guess. Listen to Haley when she says she feels that I'm run down and it's good to have her as, you know, checks and balances. She can let me know when I'm like, all right, you're looking depleted right now. And It's clear to anyone who hears this album and also to anyone who takes an interest in your life as, as a fan right. that the two of you have found, you know, a really important bond and, mm. and that this marriage is, has been a hugely important development in your life. It's been a re big reason of why I'm coming back and, be, and I'm successful at this. Um, I think she is definitely the reason. There'd be no story without her. There would be no, she just ties it all together. I mean, she giving me substance to talk about. Mm. She's the person that I'm learning to, you know, love unconditionally, um, start a family with. So, you know, regardless if I sell another record, I mean, I have a lot of, peace just knowing that I have the rest of my life to build a relationship with a solid foundation uh, trust and patience and all the things that go into building a healthy relationship when I listen to the sort of what's been said from either of you it's been documented in the in the series but also what you've said it sounds like both of you to some degree knew it was right but you were both had to go and sort of in your own way, <laughs> mm -hmm. sort of confirm or qualify that that was the case. Right. How did you know? And there's a song on the album which is which really refers to that, which is that that's what real love is, you know. Yeah. And I, how did you kind of know? I'd let her know prior to the tour when we were hanging a lot. I said, "Listen, I'm still really hurt and still trying to figure out my way, and I'm not ready to make a commitment to you in a way that, you know, I just don't want to say something and do the opposite because I just don't." I was at the point where I'd, you know, I'd done that in the past and I just was like honest with her. It was like, you know, I, I'm not in a place to, you know, be faithful and all this sort of stuff that I wanted to be, you know, but I just wasn't there yet. And, so and what was hurting just, you at the time you said you were still hurt? I think I was just hurt from my previous relationship. I think I, think I still was dealing with a lot of unforgiveness and all that sort of stuff, so. To be honest, I don't think I even knew what I was really struggling with at the time. I don't think I knew I was dealing with unforgiveness. I was just in a place where I knew I didn't want to like tell her one thing and like, you know, I felt like she respected me at the time and I had a lot of respect for her. Um, and so I just didn't want to like say something and then she'd see me off doing some other thing. Mm -hmm. And so, but either way, she loved me and seeing me with other people hurt her. And so, with that being said, she went out and did things that hurt me. And so it was just this hurt. I hurt her, she hurt me. And then before tour, we just really stopped talking. I was really upset. And uh, rather than, you know, before that in my uh, previous relationship, I went off and just went crazy and went wild, just was, you know, being reckless. This time I took the time to like really build myself um, and focus on, you know, me and uh, try to make the right decisions and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, I got better. And so she would reach out to people that would like, that we knew. Checking on you. And check in and she would get like these, the, you'd hear, right? You'd hear like, oh, he's doing so well. And she would be so pissed off because she's like, he's not doing well without me. Like just, you know, normal, like, Right? Like normal... Facts? Yeah. Right? <laughs> and... Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, we, she would hear this, right? And you'd hear this and, I'd, and it would just be... You'd just be like, what? He's doing well? Like... You know, I guess that's what I was getting at when I was talking about those, those tough years is in a way you were punishing yourself because you didn't have the answers, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. I think that I was just, yeah, living in this shame, living in all this sort of stuff of my past, and I wasn't able to move on. But the more I looked at it, so now I'm not doing, the way I look at my relationship with God and with Jesus is I'm not trying to earn God's love. 
by doing good things. God has already loved me for who I am Mm -hmm. before I did anything to earn and deserve it. It's a free gift by accepting Jesus and just giving your life to him. And what he did is the gift. The forgiveness is the thing that we look at. And, you know, I'm going to worship you, God, because you gave me something so good. Mm -hmm. And so you live that life of like, I don't want to cheat on my wife, not because it's the right thing to do, but because I don't want to hurt her. See the difference there? It's, that is love. Yeah. it's, it's You're like, putting the well-being of someone that you care about ahead of your own fallibilities and your own exactly. previous behavior. Exactly. And what's, you know, what's out there. Exactly. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I love that. When did the fire to make music come back? Because to pick the timeline up again, it's sort of you're off tour and you realize that you still haven't dealt with certain things, right? Yeah. It's 2017 and... Did you get hit again? Were you slammed again by these kind of unresolved emotions and feelings? And did you have questions when you came off tour that you still didn't have answers for? I got off tour and yeah, there was still, there was just, there was this feeling of um, unresolved things in my life. I took the time to resolve some things in my life, uh, some, some relationships, get some healing. Did you go to therapy? Work through some healing, yeah, I did. I think it's important that we express our feelings and uh, find that place. I think a lot of people, I think at one time I felt like, ah, who is this person to give me advice? You know, like, what does he know about? And I just, I've moved past, I've just grown to mature past that and just know that, like, it's just, it's helpful. When did you realize that it was time for you to reconnect with Haley and that you had gotten to a place when you knew that you could potentially actually pursue something substantial? I just felt there was a lot of resolution um, in my life. I'd seen her at an event and I'd uh, I'd seen her with a baby and uh, something just clicked and it was like, wow, she's the one. I'd, I'd kind of decluttered some of my past and I was able to see really clearly and I just seen her across the room. She was holding a baby and, uh, I just seen the nurturing look in her eyes toward this baby. Um, And I was like, I want the mother of my children to look at a baby the way that she was. And um, she just, the way she was carrying it. And I just seen something so special. And I just was like, I want that. And I knew that she could offer that to me. Yeah. It was a great story. Thank you. How quick was it after that? It was, seemed uh, pretty quick. It was very quick. It was uh, <laughs> a couple months later, I popped the question. And then it was a couple months later, I, we got married. Were you so. nervous before you popped the question? I was. I mean, that's a big commitment. And uh, my parents were never married. So I never had that. Uh, I never got to see what that really looked like. So I'm like, can I even do this? Do I even know what it looks like to do this? But I just felt like God was saying, I'll show you. You know, I'll show you how to do it. Just, you know, just trust so I just trusted him and just let him, you know, lead the way and uh, committed to her. And, and, and still learning how to trust people? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, um, I think boundaries, to be honest, is, like, key, you know, understanding, like, there's people that play certain roles in my life and kind of just to let them play that role and not give them access to certain parts of my life. And uh, that's something you have to do not only as uh, for your own emotional well-being but I think as a as a business leader as well you know and something I'm learning I've made some mistakes over the past year or two just (laughs) scooters over there probably laughing just um I do try I I have a problem with trust but then there's areas of like I I do trust people a little too much sometimes sometimes I'm just working through just kind of trying to figure out all that sort of stuff people who take advantage do you feel like people have taken advantage of you in the past? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, people take advantage, of course. But uh, just kind of trying to figure out how to just how to navigate being married. I'm friggin' married now, and I got the best wife in the world. She supports me through so much. I'm really honored to be her husband, and I just— Really? You've made a whole album about it. Yeah, and uh, there's more to come. I mean, I want to continue to write about what it looks like to be— It's You know, this is an album I wrote— in the first year of our marriage, you know? So it's like, it's so fresh and there's, you know, there's no, there's so much more to learn about commitment and, you know, building trust and foundation. I'm just, I'm looking forward to continuing to 
build and make music that's gonna reflect that. That's what's great about changes. It's a honeymoon record. Yeah, yeah. It's sure. a honeymoon record. Yeah, exactly. You know, it would be sort exactly. of disingenuous to start diving deeper into that situation when you're exactly. just learning about it in the beginning exactly. stages. Yes. Have you got that project in you at some point in the future? We're dialing into some really interesting and really powerful human stuff here. Yeah. And this album is a great document to the beginning of a new era for you. Mm -hmm. But do you feel like every day you get closer to making that album that picks up where purpose left off but goes even further? Uh, yeah. I mean, I was just <laughs> in the back there and I literally just came up with the title to my album, but I don't know if I'm gonna share it right now. That's okay. It just felt like, yeah, there's there's so many deeper levels of, you know, I don't just want to, I when I want to talk about, you know, I think love is, you know, the foundation of what humanity's built off of. Mm. But, and with that being said, I just think there's so many, you know, issues in society and things that I'm eventually going to want to just speak about and write about and injustices and, and people being marginalized and overlooked and things of that nature. Mm. I think that's definitely something I'm going to definitely be going into. But I think it's just, it's all timing. And I think what comes priority first is that lady over there mm. and building my relationship with her because I think she teaches me about all that sort of stuff. Like what? What, do, what is she really taught? What are some of the key kind of growths that you've experienced by being in a relationship like this? I think she just teaches me... Um, just, I mean, there's so much. I mean, patience is a big thing. At the end of the day, it's like I chose to be with her forever. So understanding that, yeah, I don't know, just patience is a big, big thing. Uh, is he impatient? Is he impatient? Yeah. Not necessarily. I think I've been quite impatient with him at times. <laughs> I think we both have... Uh, I think everybody has a tendency, like you said, a human condition. Everybody's can be impatient. And the big step, and I gotta ask it because there's, mm -hmm. you, you know, there's there's baby sounds on the record, and mm -hmm. it's like really, it's it's cool hearing those. And I wonder mm -hmm. kind of where you you stand or where, how you feel about starting a family, and in particular coming from a family that was unorthodox in an environment that wasn't normal, mm -hmm. um, or whatever a normal family is. Mm -hmm. How you feel about starting your own? I want to start my own family uh, in due time. I just. Uh, I want to enjoy being married for a little bit, go on tour, be married, enjoy traveling with just us, mm. build more of our relationship. And I think, uh, yeah, that is definitely the next step for sure. You and your fans have had the most incredible journey and ride and, and the, the level of passion and, and the level of um, loyalty that they show you over mm. the years has been incredible to witness from the outside. Mm. Um, now that you have a chance to be a leader, not just to your band, but also mm. to your fans in a weird way, right? Mm. Because I know that there have been times when that's probably scared you even, or it's caught you off guard, that level of attention, right? It's hard mm -hmm. to process. Mm -hmm. And I wonder sort of how you feel as you're growing and maturing about mm. having fans and what that concept feels like. Mm. Yeah, the concept. Um, it's, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just so different than you know, when I was younger, I mean, I just, it's confusing when you're young because that person loves me. Well, also, like, you're, com you're coming from a place where you're, again, getting back to your family, mm. which is where it all begins. Mm. We start our journey somewhere with some people, right? And we don't ask for that. Mm -hmm. They're doing the best they can. Mm -hmm. And you have to process that information and move forward. And when you're faced with this, adoration and this love, mm -hmm. but you're not quite sure what love is. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's big. What we're touching on is big right now. This is big. It's big. This is big. This is big. I don't even think people know how big this is. Yeah, what is, what is love? I mean, love is patient, love is kind, love doesn't envy, love doesn't boast, love isn't self-seeking, love isn't arrogant. Love is, you know, what Haley and I are doing every day, is waking up mm. in the morning and making the decision to, you know, we have all these, everyone has selfish desires, you know, everybody has bad thoughts and, and but just pushing those aside and saying, I'm not gonna, mm. I'm not gonna indulge in that because I have something, you know, you give me something that I, I want more than that, those things. 
I don't know where I was going with that. But, um, you know, I, I um, hey, baby. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Oh, look at that. Um, so, Justin, at the start of this new decade, and this might be a little hard to kind of put into context, but mm -hmm. on bro broadly speaking, in mm -hmm. terms of just core values and core mm -hmm. goals, where would you ideally like to be at the end of this decade? Mm. What would you <laughs> like to, what path would you like to have put your life on? Mm. I feel like the last decades, so much of it felt out of control. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you've worked hard to get some of that control, control back. back. Yeah. Um, I just feel like there's so much to look forward to. I'm really excited. Excited to get, I'm like emotional thinking about it. I'm just excited to get, uh, to have babies with you. Um, I'm excited to uh, just enjoy, just celebrate you know, all the amazing things that we've been given. Because we are blessed, babe, you know. We talk about it all the time. We just have a thing where we just say, we're bl we're so blessed. We are, man. There's so much pain in the world, and you don't understand, we don't understand why, and there's so much things that are so unexplainable, but what is the reality? We are blessed, you know? Um, and it's hard, that dichotomy of, like, how can we mourn the, the loss of someone you know, and accept that we are still blessed. Mm. I think um, that's it's a really hard thing to discover. But uh, I think when you get there, it's a beautiful place to be. Beautiful place to be. Thanks, man.